When you're in the embroidery stitch out mode, you have a move hoop icon just right below the start or the menu or the topaz here. When you touch it, and you can do this anytime during the embroidery, for example, I use it a lot to move so I can trim something. One of those is called trim position. So when you move it, it moves the whole entire hoop towards you so you can get in here and do some trimming. It's really super easy. If you want to uh, touch current stitch position, that brings you right back to where you were before you touched that previous one. So current position, obviously what that does, park position. Now this will actually take and park the embroidery um, arm over here. So when the embroidery unit or hoop is off, this embroidery arm is all the way over to the far left side. This is the position that you want to be when you're trying to get it back into the styrofoam of your box. That's the park position and you can touch that to get to that um, area. Let me put the hoop back on to show you this next one. So put bobbin position. Now it's going to move everything as far back as it possibly can. And tell you the truth, you can get in and get your bobbin in and out. Now it might take you a couple tries because um, it is a little tight. It is a big hoop if you've got the big one on. But tell you, I can get this bobbin back in, flip it back into the M, the little tension, and up and over that little guide, and then back down here. Put this back into position and then cut the thread. Then just go ahead and you can do back to current position. That'll move it back in and that bobbin is ready to go. Don't have to take the hoop off. Just move to bobbin position. Okay, trim position we already showed you, but I want to show you one other place that you can do it from. So even if you have this menu all closed up, if you just need to trim something, the needle up and needle down button is also trim position. Brings that whole hoop towards you. And same thing when you push it again, it'll move it back to the last position probably more, it moves it back to your current position. Okay, let's go back into move hoop. And the last thing is center position, just moves the needle to the center of the design. Now this is not moving your design or anything, it's just positioning the hoop to the center. So if you didn't need it to come all the way towards you to do some type of trimming, you can just do center position, move it a little bit, and then it's super easy to kind of get it right back to where you want. So when you're done, green check mark and if you don't move it back to where the current stitch is as soon as you touch the start stop button it'll move back to that exact last stitch that you were on before you started moving the hoop around.